TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch, we are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells, man, let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Um, <laughs> anybody waiting on Benordum? As you can see, I tried to watch it, got blocked. Uh, but it looks like on another, like this is the only one that be getting blocked. Um, and then we got to end after season three because that's it. They don't block, they can block them all after season three. But uh, I don't know. We'll try. They're up there, but this is blocked for sure. So we'll see if they let it go. If they don't, mm, moving right along. Um... But anyway, this is, uh, you see the title. This is that video on the title. Uh, let me find this. Dang, I'm unprepared? Hold on now. Let's get to it. Hold on now. Hold on now. Chill out, chill out, chill out. Hold on now. Be patient. This is, it's Kid Nerd. It's a Kid Nerd video. I'm going to edit this out. Y'all won't even see none of this, so. Honestly. You feel me? Um, here we go. The deadly you love your new space. As you can tell, that's disappointing. The deadly war on, uh, in Northwest London. Back, I'm back, I'm back. Nowhere in London. Kid nerd, it's been a minute, my boy. This is all unnecessary. I ain't been on YouTube that long. This was not smooth. <laughs> Let's get into this, though. In 2022, in 2022, nowhere in London has been more popping than Northwest and West London. Probably the three most popping artists in London right now are coming out of West London. Be Central C, Fredo, and Diggity. And Diggity, Central C, and Fredo. And Northwest London recently has got a sudden. Mm, I'm, I'm begging to differ. Clavish, Clavish is definitely up there. He's popping. Burst of rappers coming from that side of the city who are definitely looking to be in that list soon. But a big reason due to the big spotlight on that side of London is due to what's happening on the streets. Recently, Northwest London has been a war zone from Camden to Kensington to Brent. But today, we'll be getting into a feud between two estates that are so close together that you can literally cross territories in a two minute drive. Let's get into this video. Don't forget we are partnered with the Blueprint Mastermind. Links down in the description. We dropping a group. We dropping a group of podcast Sunday, I think. Guys, before I get into this video, I want all you guys to check out my song of the week from an artist I'm subscriber. Be sure to be posted. Video will also from Holland. Northwest London was in the peak of one of the so let's take it back to the 2000s when Northwest London was in the peak of one of the most deadly gang wars in London history between two neighboring areas called Stonebridge and Church Road and this war literally consumed a whole borough of Brent during the 2000s different estates inside and even outside of Brent would pick sides between Stonebridge and Church Road leaving family and friends divided between the estates they live on in this time period the crime got so bad in Stonebridge specifically the UK government had to evacuate residents so bad in Stonebridge specifically the UK government wasn't this the uh the the the, the <laughs> ain't this where the scene uh central sea shot the lim lyrical lemonade with Cole Bennett ain't this the scene right this is it 
government had to evacuate residents of the Stonebridge estate, knock down his flats and rebuild the area with new modern homes and apartments. But many residents of the Stonebridge estate wouldn't be moved too far from home to only less than 15 minutes away to an estate called South Kilburn, an area nearly if not as bad as Stonebridge. South Kilburn started inheriting the beef between Stonebridge and Church Road and just how South Kilburn inherited Stonebridge's beef, other estates started linking up with Church Road one specifically being an estate less than three minutes from South Kilburn called Mozart Estate. Mozart Estate had been having some back and forth issues with South Kilburn at the time, but it wasn't always like this. South Kilburn and Mozart Estate used to be on good terms back in the day, with both estates literally being minutes in walking distance. A lot of kids from both Mozart and South Kilburn went to school with each other, played with each other growing up and even made money together. But that last thing was a big reason to do with their issues. It's always that or women. Around the early 2000s, Northwest London was a popular spot for crack cocaine users, with Mozart Estate being dubbed Crack City and South Kilburn being a known spot for drug dealing activity. But with both estates being so close together, while both heavy in the drug game, spouts of money issues and jealousy started destroying the relationship between both areas. As time went by, situations started popping off between the two and stuff started getting more serious. Around these times in the late 2000s to early 2010s, Northwest and West London was a very dangerous place. Back it, whatever's going on in Go the neighborhood right now, it can't be as bad as back right now when it, what, that I'm looking at. There's no way. <laughs> Areas were occurring. Police is moving different now. With most of the surrounding areas being divided, these times gangs in Northwest were starting to heavily rep colours. With South Kilburn side allied with a few other gangs in the area, including Stonebridge, were wearing blue bandanas and flags. While Mozart's gang HRB and a couple other estates were repping red colours. The That's war true, was now right? turning into a London version of Bloods and Crips. Colours were starting to be a big issue in the area. That people were starting to get attacked literally just for wearing the wrong colour at the wrong place. English football player Raheem Sterling even talked about how he was living in the area at the time. Sterling lived in an estate called the St Raff's Estate during his time, an estate linked to the Mozart Estate, an area which was Bloods. But Sterling at the time was playing for the QPR youth team. So wait, do they really jack blood and crip over there or are they just, or they just, um... I thought it was just a color thing. I didn't know that it was actually, but you know. He plays with a blue top. So even he said while wow, he- Oh, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, Feel me? He was leaving his house and returning from training or games. He would have to wear a hoodie or a jumper over his kit because he couldn't wear blue in his area. In the early 2010s, both sides started to be more active in the music scene. A rapper from Stonebridge called K. Cole was already making some serious noise on the scene, even being one of the biggest rappers coming out of London in the late 2000s. A couple South Kilburn members started jumping on music as well, called Cowboy and Justo, dropping a few videos like Not gonna lie, I never heard of him one called It Ain't A Secret back in 2011. Not long after this release, a rapper from the HRB side dropped a remix to the song using the same beat, title and flow of the song called It Ain't A Secret. And this song blew up, really shining a big spotlight on the rapper Boss Belly and his gang Not gonna lie, I never heard of him. HRB. Then on June the 6th, 2011, another HRB rapper called Ratlin dropped probably one of the biggest yeah, I ain't heard of nobody from HRB or something. UK rap songs to come out that year with his song called Messiah, which everyone all around London was bumping at the time. And HRB was really starting to become talk of the town in West London. But behind the music, the war on the streets was as bad as ever. In mid-September of 2011, there were several reports in a few days of back and forth situations happening on both Mozart Estate and South Kilburn. Someone was believed to have been chased in South Kilburn Next day, three suspected members of the South Kilburn gang rode their bicycles to Mozart Estate. When they got there, they saw a crowd of boys and girls gathered around the estate. One of the members got off his bike, walked towards the crowd with a shotgun, and let off one shot into the crowd. He let it be! Yeah, yeah. My bad. But this shot didn't hit anyone the gunman probably wanted it to hit, with it hitting the 18 year old girl who was holding their 11 month old baby. Like 
See, man, this is why you just, man, like, if you got beef with somebody, like, handle it with that somebody, man. You're really wigging out. Like, when, when pedestrians and, and regular people is hit, that's just the, I don't know, man. Just wigging out, man. This is sad. A teenage girl shot in a parent botched gangland attack in northwest London was cradling her 11 month baby when she was hit. Luckily, nobody died from the shooting, but after this, police really started to increase policing in the region, and with more back and forth violence between the two sides, the main suspects started getting arrested, and the Mozart to South Kilburn border started getting a little bit more quieter on the streets of music. HRB's main rapper, Boss Belly, was having some in-house disputes with another member of HRB, which ultimately turned a few main members against him, which resulted in a period of a few years, with no real popping music from both South Kilburn and HRB until late 2015 when the music sound in London started to switch up to more trap like music. This was when one South Kilburn rapper called Cowboy, now known as C-Biz, really started taking uh -huh. off. Okay, now we know who that is. We don't even look the same. We don't even look like CB. Dropping his most legendary song called The Game's Mind. Oh, Younger that? South Kilburn members also started dropping tunes as well that started doing serious numbers. Especially one rapper called Emlo, who really started, started doing serious numbers. Especially. This is a menace to this. The dude is clearly a menace. Drinking <laughs> Ciroc Peach? Straight out the corner store with, with vegetation in the back? This is menace written all over. See one rapper called Emlo, who really started making some noise on the Emlo, scene. Right? But on the other side, in 2016, the yeah. HRB member would drop one of the biggest songs Finally, to come out in somebody I know. history. A rapper called Fredo dropped his first song called Day in a Hundred. And the song blew up from the gate. But not long after this, Fredo was arrested and went jail, but soon would be released. And when he was released, he started dropping hit after hit. Same thing for C-Biz. He was starting to get more and more popular, but it wouldn't be long before CBiz would be stopped on his tracks. It was March 9th, 2016, when this video was posted all over social media. I told man don't be comparing man to these dabbing ass rappers, B. Tell your guy come get Come get yo. This is the old version again. This ain't a new play. Come get that B. Just shortly before this video was took, it was alleged that members from a gang allied of HRB from a nearby no comments, area called Church Road had robbed C Biz's jewelry from him. This video was going viral at the time, but no one expected how quick and deadly the response to this would be. Only a few hours after this video dropped, a couple unidentified people pulled up on Church Road looking for revenge. At the time, there just happened to be a crowd outside the area. This is when a gunman jumped out and sprayed an automatic machine gun into the crowd before jumping back in the vehicle and driving away. Sadly, this proved to be a deadly attack. But what makes it even sadder is the person that was killed was a complete innocent bystander who had nothing to do with any of this. See Biz alongside a few other people from South Kill. See man, that's why you know, when I was in Chicago, man, I, I'd be in the crib, bro. Because that's how it always is, man. Somebody that got nothing to do with nothing getting hit, man. Like I'm in it. I'm uh, I'm put up. Man, there's too much going on in the city, man. Somebody that don't got nothing to do with your beef getting hit. That's crazy. Ruben were arrested for the murder, with CBiz eventually even getting charged for the killing, and he went on trial for it. But CBiz alongside his code of. Got the silent and got him out of there, didn't they? actually ended up beating the case due to lack of evidence and when CBiz came out he started making big noise on the scene again dropping a fresh home song and another song called Buzz this in Big Church Road rapper Nines Fredo was also locked up at the start of 2017 but was later released after he beat his case and when Fredo came out he dropped one of his biggest hits yet with a song called Like That clearing tens of millions of views which even started bringing American attention to the 
the rapper. But what a lot of people didn't know was less than a month before this drop, yet again another tragedy occurred due to the feud of HRB and South Kilburn. It was May 26th, 2017, around to the feud of HRB and South Kilburn. It was May 26th, ha, that's my birthday. 2017, around 9 p.m., when two masked up men rolled pedals from HRB's block, the Mozart Estate, to South Kilburn. It was a hot day, so a lot of people were out on the South Kilburn Estate that day. There were around 20 kids playing in the park, and boys and girls were enjoying the nice weather, and everything was looking like a standard summer's day, until two men on pedal bikes came through and started shooting shots into the group of boys. The group of boys dispersed after the shots, and luckily none of them were injured, but sadly, one bullet bounced off a wall on the estate which hit a 20 year old girl in the back sadly killing her literally in front of herds of kids playing in the park who she was close to a few and she was dying that's tough that's 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 what i'm saying like that's how I, when it get hot man i be put up because look like ricocheted off a building like that's final destination type stuff bro Two HRB members got arrested for this murder, with two young boys being charged, but ultimately the case got dropped due to lack of evidence. Around these times was when another gang in West London was starting to break through on the music scene as well. 2017 started seeing a big rise in drill music, creating new artists and also killing a lot of the older artists who couldn't adapt to the new scene. This was when a West London group called 1011 really started to make a name for themselves, dropping banger after banger, especially one of their rappers called Digger D. 1011 are from an area called Lad Banger, especially one of their rappers called Dig. Listen, I don't have any hair. Where did bro find this picture at? This is tough. Digger D. 1011 are from an area banger after banger, especially one of their rappers called Dig. He got this off his MySpace profile. That's crazy. Yeah, D. 1011 are from an area called Ladbrook Grove, which is around five minutes away from HRB's block, the Mozart Estate. Both areas have had issues with each other for a long time, with 1011 being linked to the blue side of this divide, with South Kilburn and Stonebridge. And in 2017, 1011 and HRB were really getting into it. And 2017 also proved to be a very hostile year in West London. But in the last couple years, the beef has only got worse and worse. On the 15th of July 2020, a young man who was affiliated to HRB was stabbed to death early in the morning. The person stabbed was close to a few members of HRB, so HRB. RIP, man, any loss of life is. is, is Dramatic. Members were unhappy about this, especially one member called Billy the Kid. And the day after Billy's friend's death, allegedly he was out for revenge with a few other members from a nearby estate called St. Raph's. CCTV footage tracked Billy and his friends ride from a stolen car from their estate to the rival area of the Stonebridge estate. Once they arrived, they drove near a group of boys and let off some shots. But the group of boys that they were shooting also started shooting back, which resulted in two shots hitting Billy in the back and another person in the car be that's tough bro imagine riding out to get your get back and then getting got that's different oh man uh that's unfortunate but gun violence is a thing that needs to be eradicated Somehow we need to figure it out. Being hit in his leg. The person who was shot in the leg thankfully managed to make it to hospital where he was treated and recovered. But unfortunately, Billy wasn't that lucky and he ended up losing his life to the wounds. RIP Billy, man. The shooter of Billy was never found, and the craziest thing about this, with three of Billy's friends being sentenced to life for his murder, the judge's rationale for this was that if Billy's friends never shot at the group, then the group wouldn't have shot back and killed Billy. Separately, I want to know what everyone thinks of- What? That is honestly insult to injury, bro. They didn't- they didn't appeal that and win? Like
of the decision in the comment section because a lot of people disagree with his verdict and me personally i don't really agree with somebody being convicted for a murder they didn't actually commit and i'm wow. guessing billy's friends will appeal this decision a month after the murder of billy sadly another life was lost in the back and forth feud it was the early hours of august 12th an affiliate of south kilburn called gucci was outside his house in Ke oh so that's the bdk chain that um that Fred will be wearing Billy the Kid. Got it. It just hit me. Kilburn. But what he didn't know was a stolen Jaguar was circling his estate. Before he knew it, the oh, man was 12. An affiliate of South Carolina will appeal this decision. A month after the murder of Billy, sadly another life was lost in the back and forth feud. It was the early hours of August 12th. An affiliate of South Kilburn called Gucci was outside his house in Kilburn. But what he didn't know was a stolen Jaguar was circling his estate. Before he knew it, the members inside the Jaguar jumped out. Jaguar was so. This is the estate that we're looking at right now? I'm not gonna lie, this is architectural. These is crazy, these look nice. In his estate. Before he knew it, the members inside the Jaguar jumped out on him and shot at him multiple times. Paramedics were called to his house in an attempt to save him, but sadly a shot to his chest killed him, adding another senseless murder to this out of control feud. A couple months senseless. Stop the gun violence. Months later, HRB rapper Fredo dropped an emotional song dedicated to Billy. I remember this. Which was his first song he posted after the death of Billy. Now we're in 2022, and it looks like this feud has no signs of dying down anytime soon. With two back to back high profile deaths recently, which have shocked the whole city. One including the oldest brother of a big HRB rapper called Little Dots. It was early in the morning on July the 19th when a HRB member called Wu was outside of block of flats in Queen's Park, West London, when a gunman randomly pulled up and started firing shots. One of these shots ended up hitting Wu in the heart. Paramedics were called to the scene, but before they could get there, Wu's friend drove him to a nearby hospital where he was treated. But sadly, the treatment wasn't enough, and he ended up passing away in hospital. A month R.I.P. Salute to his friend, man. Backed him. Got him where he needed to be, man. R.I.P. though. A month later in a similar situation, a rapper from the South Kilburn side called M. Low was shot to death on Kensington oh, High Street at 2 in the morning. M. Low was a real UK rapping legend, being a big pioneer in the trap music in London, alongside other South Kilburn members like C-Biz and F1 back in 2016. So it's sad to see how this feud ended up taking his life. Hopefully we start to see this feud slowing down a bit, but with fresh situations going on constantly in Northwest London, it's becoming more and more unlikely but until then hopefully everyone stays safe it's been your boy kid nerd and realistically man when there's a loss of life when there's beef like this it's tough to get people to rationalize because a life was lost and i hope man you know people just you know see the bigger picture and you know put the guns down man Leave a like, comment, subscribe, move on.